Welcome everyone to Vested Interest. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. This is Shane, back again to cover six dividend growth stocks to watch, research, and possibly add to your portfolio for the month of December. I've chosen six dividend growth stocks, all from different sectors, to look at today. And before we get into it, if you haven't already done so, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you continue to get notified when new videos are posted. And now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get to it. First off, let's look at a future dividend aristocrat that's been paying grow, growing dividends year after year for 19 years now. Lockheed Martin, ticker LMT. Lockheed Martin Corporation is in the industrial sector. It's a security and aerospace company, engages in the research, design, development, manufacture, integration, and sustainment of technology systems, products, and services worldwide. It operates through four segments, aeronautics, missiles, and fire control, rotary and mission systems, and space. Founded in 1912 and is headquartered in Bethesda, Maryland. At the time of this recording, LMT is down 10.78% over the last six months. You will find that right here. With the 52-week uh, range, low of $319.81, a high of $396.99. Currently at 342.72, it is closer to the lower end of that 52-week range. Currently sitting with a PE, forward PE of 12.80. That's significantly lower than the market. I think the current market for the S&P 500 is 28, 29, maybe even in the low 30s. Uh, maybe went down a little bit with this recent drop on, on uh, Black Friday here, but still pretty high. LMT has a 3.27 forward dividend yield and it pays eleven dollars and twenty cents annually so per share so over the course of a year you'd make eleven dollars and twenty cents off of one share of Lockheed Martin and this is one that was on my November list uh, it continues to be in my opinion fairly valued so I've moved it on into the December uh, watch list as well Next, we move into the technology, or I'm sorry, into the information technology sector and look at Intel Corporation, ticker INTC. Intel Corporation designs, manufactures, and sells essential technologies for the cloud, smart, and connected devices for retail, industrial, and consumer uses worldwide, offering platform products such as central processing units and chipsets and system on chip and multi-chip packages and non-platform or adjacent products comprising accelerators, boards and systems, connectivity products, memory and storage products. The company also provides Internet of Things products, including high-performance compute solutions for targeted verticals and embedded applications in computer vision and machine learning-based sensing, data analysis, localization mapping, and driving policy technology. The company was founded in 1968. It's headquartered in Santa Clara, California. At the time of this recording, Intel Corporation is actually down 14.3% over the last six months. 52-week uh, range, 45.24 is the low, 68.49 is the high. Currently, Intel sits at 48.78 per share, so it would definitely be closer to that 52-week low. It's forward PE, you're looking at 9.23 forward PE, very low PE right now. Dividend yield of 2.85%, and it's paying out $1.39 annually per share. Uh, this is another one I've been adding to pretty consistently. It's been down uh, for a while now. Again, not easy to find 2.8% uh, yield in the information technology sector. Intel definitely operates that. I believe it is a good one to take a look at and do some more research. Our third dividend growth stock to watch for December comes out of the consumer discretionary sector, a dividend aristocrat that's paid a growing dividend for over 50 years. We're talking about Leggett and Platt Incorporated, ticker LEG. Leggett and Platt Incorporated designs, manufactures, and markets engineered components and products worldwide. It operates through three segments, bedding products, specialized products, and furniture, flooring, and textile products. The company was founded in 1883 and is based in Carthage, Missouri. Currently, Leggett & Platt was lagging the market and is down over the last six months, 24.64%. If you look over here at the 52-week range, she has a low of $39.90, a high of $59.16. And 
And currently at $41.11, it's much closer to this low, $39.90, for the last 52 weeks of the last year. With the PE of 15, again, relatively uh, low PE, especially for this market. Uh, dividend yield of 4.09%, nice dividend yield over 4%, and a forward dividend rate of $1.68 per share. This is another one that was actually on my uh, November watch list. Continues to be very well valued in my opinion, and I will continue to watch and probably add this to my portfolio in the month of December. Number four on the lift, list, the Kraft Heinz Company, ticker KHC, it's consumer staple. Uh, Kraft Heinz, together with its subsidies, manufactures and markets food and beverage products in the United States, Canada, and the United Kingdom, and internationally. Its products include condiments and sauces, cheese and dairy, meals, meats and seafood, frozen and chilled foods, packaged drinking pouches, appetizers, nuts and salted snacks, refreshment beverages, coffee, infant nutri and nutrition products and other grocery products as well as desserts, dressings, toppings, and baking. The company offers its products under some names that you probably know, Kraft, Oscar Mayer, Heinz, Philadelphia, Velveeta, Lunchables, Planners, Maxwell House, Capri Sun, Aura Ida, Kool-Aid, Jell-O, ABC, Master, Golden Circle, Plasmin, Wadis, Classico, Ch TGI Fridays, and Taco Bell Home Original brands to name a few. The company was founded uh, formerly known as H.J. Heinz Holding Corporation, changed its name to the Kraft Heinz Company in July 2015. It was founded in 1869 and headquarters in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. KHC is also lagging the market. Over the last six months, it's down 21.16%. It's 52-week range, a low of $31.60 with a high of $44.95. Currently at $34.83, much closer to that 52 week low of 31.60. It has a forward PE, again, much lower than the current market at 12.54. Nice dividend yield at 4.59, offering a yearly annual dividend rate payment of $1.60 per share. Number five on our list Enterprise Products Partners. Enterprise Product Partners is out of the energy sector, provides midstream energy services to producers and consumers of natural gas, natural gas liquids, crude oil, petrochemical, and refined products. The company operates through four segments, NLG pipelines and services, crude oil pipelines and services, natural gas pipeline and services, and petrochemical and refined products services. The company was founded in 1968, it's headquartered in Houston, Texas. EPD, again, lagging the market. If you haven't noticed a trend yet, they're all going to be lagging the market. That's why these are uh, what I consider uh, good values because they aren't you know, sky high like the current market is, and they actually are lagging where we currently are. So I look for stocks like this to find good value. Again, if you look at its 52-week range, you have a low of $19.28, a high of $25.69, currently at $21.99. It's much closer to the 19.28 low than it is the 25.69 high, though it is more uh, mid-range than the other ones we've seen so far. A very nice dividend yield of 8.19%. You do find higher yields typically in the energy uh, and utility sectors. This is also a good one for a, a hedge against inflation. Definitely beats uh, even the current rate of inflation at 8.19%. Uh, P.E., again, really low, 10.17 P.E., and a forward dividend rate over the next year to pay you out $1.80 per share. That's EPD, ticker EPD, Enterprise Products Partners. Finally, we look at the material sector. Our sixth stock for December is Vail. Together with its subsidies, Vail produces and sells iron ore, iron ore pellets for use as raw materials in steel making in Brazil and internationally. Vail operates through ferrous minerals, base metals, and coal segments. The company produces and extracts iron ore pellets, manganese, ferro alloys, and other ferrous products and, and provides related logistics services. Also extracts nickel and uh, copper, gold, silver, cobalt, precious metals, Extraction of metallurgical and thermal coal. The company was formerly known as 
Comfani, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, Vale do Rio Dolce, and changed its name to Vale SA in May 2009. Vale SA was founded in 1942 and is headquartered in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. So this one uh, actually gives you some pretty good international coverage. Uh, KHC actually gives you a little bit of international coverage as well. So it, these also help to diversify the portfolio, not only in different sectors, but in different markets around the world. Uh, that's one of the reasons I look at companies like this as well. Uh, you'll see it's over its last six months, it is down extremely. They've had some bad press, uh, down 40%. A little over 40% over the last six months. It's 52 week range, a low of 11.16, a high of 23.18. Currently sitting at $12.37. It is much closer to that $11.16 low than it is that 23 high. But boy, if it did screen back up to 23, this would be a fun ride up if you had a, a, some shares of this. Your dividend yield is. 18.31%, though I believe this is only paid out uh, annually or semi-annually. I would have to go back and look at that. Uh, and then every now and again, they'll pay out a, a uh, special dividend as well. So this isn't your typical uh, annual or monthly yielding dividend stock. This is more on a semi-annual or annual basis uh, with some special dividends thrown in. So you have to look, do some research on that. Uh, some people like that, some people don't. I like the higher yield. And it doesn't bother me if it's only paid once or twice a year, so long as I'm getting a higher yield like this. The 4P, extremely low at 2.97. Like I said, this company has had some bad press lately. Uh, and you, if there's a slowdown, you may see it continue to stay on these uh, lower levels. But 2.97, that's just extremely low. And it pays out $2.27 per share over the next year. or That's what it uh, just paid out. So again, that's Vail out of the material sector. Our last uh, stock to look at for December. And that wraps up the six dividend growth stocks to watch. Recommendations for December. Uh, so this is what I'm looking at for December. What do you guys think about these companies? Do you own any of them? Are you looking at any of them or adding for this? Uh, what, I mean, Friday was a pretty significant uh, downturn in a lot of different areas. So what are you guys looking at? Let me know in the comment section below disclaimer i am not a financial advisor nothing in this presentation should be considered financial advice i am only sharing my opinion and investing journey for educational and entertainment purposes investing involves risk you can lose money and should never invest any amount you are not comfortable losing always do your own research and invest based on your situation circumstances and selected criteria or seek the advice and counsel of a certified financial advisor in all seriousness guys uh, these are stocks i'm looking at they might not be the best for you they may not fit what you're looking for or your portfolio. Uh, but that's it for this video. If you made it this far, if you could take a moment, hit that like or thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. I'd appreciate it. It helps the channel continue to grow. And for those who have already subscribed, I uh, believe it was 16 last I looked. Thank you. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, it's awesome. It really helps us out. This is Shane signing off, wishing peace and prosperity to you and yours. And remember, financial security comes to those who take a vested interest. We'll see you next time. Hey, happy holidays, guys. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving.